Hi children, so today we are going to start with our new prose 7 that is growing up in Agartala which is given in your English literature book in page number 88. Okay, now before entering into the prose, let us start with the prerequisite knowledge. So you have to write the two answers for the given two questions. That is the first one, who is your favorite sports person? For example, I like MS Dhoni, so I will be writing MS Dhoni. And look at the second question. What does he or she play? I have written MS Dhoni. Yes, as my favorite sports person. What does he play? Cricket. So, I will write cricket in the second dash. Okay. So, likewise, you have to complete your favorite sports person name. And what does he or she play? Hope you are clear with it. So children, uh, this lesson, Growing Up in Agartala, is an extract adapted from the book called The Small Wonder. So this book is all about India's first ever female gymnast to compete in the Olympics. You know who it is? It's Deepa Karmakar. And this book, The Small Wonder, was written by Bishweshwar Nandi, Dick Vijay Singh Dio and Vimal Mohan. So, three persons together, they have written this book. Okay. So, let's see about those persons in detail, children. Okay. So, I'm going to give you a small hint about those person. First, we are going to see about Bishweshwar Nandi. He is an Indian gymnastics coach from Tiripura. He had been five times national champion in gymnastics. He is an head coach of Deepa Karmakar. Next, we are going to see about Dick Vijay Singh Dio and Vimal Mohan. They both are sports journalists and co-authored the Small Wonder book along with Vishweshwar Nandi. Hope you are clear. So, let's begin with the lesson. Gymnast Deepa Karmakar started training at the age of 6 in Agartala, the capital of Tripura. In this piece, she talks about growing to love gymnastics as a child. So here we can understand that Deepa Karmakar started her training at the age of 6. And where she started her training? In Agartala. Agartala is the capital of Tiripura. And here she narrates her love towards gymnastics as a child. So shall we move on to the next paragraph? Put your finger Unlike what was written about me after my Rio performance, I did not exactly fall in love with gymnastics from day one. For me, it was something new and every child takes time to get used to a new setup. I used to go every day to the Byamagar after school, spend a few hours there, complete my exercise and return home. I was too young to understand what was going on, but I loved coming home and telling my elder sister Pooja what I had done that day at practice. More than everything, I was fascinated by the equipment at Byamagar. I was keen to master all of them. Despite my size, I would look for a chance to secretly spend a minute or two on the uneven bars or the vaulting table. One day, my coach Soma Madam saw me eyeing the uneven bars and threw me a challenge. So children, let's see the synonyms one by one. Performance. Performance, the way a person performs in something. It may be anything like dance, song or whatever it is. Setup means new system. Byamagar, a gymnasium. Fascinated, very interested. Equipment, things needed for an activity. Master, any person who becomes skilled at anything. Those persons are called master. Uneven bars and vaulting table. These are the equipments that we use in gymnastics. Next, challenge. Challenge means a new or difficult task. So children, here we can understand that as every child takes time to set in a new place, even Deepa Karmakar felt new with gymnastics training. 
as she did not love gymnastics from her day one. But then, what happened? She used to go every day to the Byamagar after her school. So once her school timing is over, she used to visit Byamagar. And she spends few hours over there. Once she completes her exercises, she loves to convey about her practice to her elder sister Pooja. So here we can understand that Deepa Karmaka's elder sister is Pooja. Moreover, she was interested to try all the equipments, okay, like uneven bars, the vaulting table for a minute or second, slowly. When she started the gymnastics, she was not much interested in it. But then slowly as she started to move for training into Byamagar, slowly she got impressed by the exercises and she started to spend some time in vaulting bars and uneven bars for a minute or second. And she also showed interest to master all of them. So... On seeing all her interests, her trainer Miss Soma Madam noticed her interest towards the uneven bars and she planned to throw a challenge on her. Children, take your page number 89. Perhaps she had realized that I wanted to conquer the uneven bars. Conquer means succeed in doing something. Since childhood, I usually got what I wanted even if it required a lot of hard work. That day, there were three of us at Pyamagar. Soma Madam challenged us to mount the uneven bars using the upstart technique. So, what is upstart technique? A skill in gymnastics used to transfer a gymnast from a swing beneath the bar to a position above the bar. The technique makes use of a very important skill in gymnastics, but I am not sure why she expected one of us kids to do it. If we won, the prize would be a piece of gum. Gum means what? Not a glue gum. It's a chewing gum. It may seem like a very small thing. But for a child, there is nothing better than winning a challenge and telling everyone about it in schools or at home. I was determined to win Soma Madam's challenge that day and was the only student to do so. As promised, she handed me a chewing gum the next day. That piece of chewing gum was my very first award. While it may not have been a gold medal, but back then, it was all that mattered. I remember saving it till I reached home and showing off my prize to Pooja. Showing off means just to show to the people something uh, which you feel proud enough. Soon, the number of chewing gums at home began increasing. It was a good way to encourage me to work harder at Pyamagar. And I slowly started to enjoy these little challenges. I did not know then, but each little win was a step towards becoming a full-time gymnast years later. There was a problem with the chewing gums though. Back in those days, each piece of gum came with a small sticker inside the packet so here we can understand one thing that soma madam when she threw a challenge on uneven bars with upstart technique among the three of them who was present on that particular day at byamagar who was the one who won the task yes it's deepa karmakar deepa karmakar was the one who won the task okay and she also received that small award. What is that small award? A piece of chewing gum. Even though it is small. Okay. But it is big among the children. Because it's a piece of chewing gum. Chewing gum means what? Bubble gum. Okay. Yes. Children in those days. Uh, they, uh, if, For example nowadays along with Kinder Joy they will give you a toy. Like that in those days. Along with the chewing gum they will give you a colorful stickers. Okay. So, as soon as she received the chewing gum from her Soma Madam, what she did? She ran towards her house to show that small piece of chewing gum to her sister Pooja and to everyone. Finally, after showing it to everyone and after narrating the entire thing, what happened in Byamagar, okay, what she did? She unwrapped the chewing gum and she started to chew the gum. And what she did with the sticker? 
she started to stuck the sticker on the steel almira so children here we can understand that at the beginning deepa was not much interested in gymnastics but what happened later on when soma madam threw her a challenge with a small piece of chewing gum she tried to accept the challenge yes because she wanted to get that small piece of chewing gum yes so in order to get that small piece of chewing gum she started to show her best things out so finally now she is the india's first ever female gymnast to compete in the olympics so from here we can understand even a small appreciation or a small gift will take any person towards their long achievement okay now come to page number 90 Pooja and I loved collecting those stickers and we ended up sticking them on a steel almira that was in one of the rooms over a period that entire almira came to be covered in these stickers with photos of dolls and dragons it really caused my father to flare up one day when he discovered flare up means become angry suddenly discovered means identifying okay finding something what we were up to both of us got a massive massive means huge scolding that almira massive scolding means huge scolding that almira though is still there in the house and so are the stickers on it so still deepa karmakar is having that steel almira okay along with those stickers deepa and pooja they both started to collect the small stickers okay which were in each piece of chewing gum and they started to stuck on the steel almira which was the one in their house okay yes and still it is there in their house yes with all those stickers yes so here deepa karmakar is remembering those days okay on seeing that uh, steel almira yes so once when their father uh, saw that steel almira which was stuck with the uh, stickers of dragon and dolls he got angry and he started to scold deepa and pooja for it okay so that's how deepa ends her narration about her love towards gymnastics as a child